Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man. Well, we're going to do a little short review on this Pro 94. Um, this is an old Radio Shack. Uh, I think it's like, I think it a whole thousand channels. Um, it does trunking. The only problem is probably anybody that was into scanners knows that about anything of all your local police departments, etc., at least in my area, have all went digital and encoded. So, uh, which you can't, there's no scanner out there that'll pick those up. Um, I mean, you can hit, you know, you'll hear it won't, won't, won't wobble, but you'll never, you'll never uh, be able to decipher it because it's all encoded with a key that you have to have, and of course, only they have it. So, which is, you know, that's a thing for debate that I'd like to have is, you know, if I'm paying for them, why can't I hear what their activity is? Of course, they're going to say it's because criminals can listen in too, but, you know, I'm a taxpayer and I'd like to listen in and know what you're doing out there. I mean, it seems like you could have a special channel if it needs to be top secret, but most of the stuff you do every day doesn't need to be top secret. But anyway, I don't want to get into that debate. But anyway, anyway I picked up this thing that like a yard sale for like two bucks. And uh, I kind of want to go over it. Um, these are actually good little scanners. I mean, I still got the local county sheriff and stuff on it. It functions well. It's got pretty good ears on it. Um, it's got a fast scan on it. No doubt about that. Um, like I said, it'll hold like a thousand channels. But these are notorious. Um, I bought this and it didn't work. And these are notorious for in the back here. The way they did the battery compartment is retarded. I shouldn't say retarded. Is is uh, is not. It's the way they did the battery compartment is stupid. I mean, I don't know why they did it this way. Um, in fact, I need to clean a little bit more off this, and it had some batteries that went kind of bad in it. But anyway, if you look right here, you can see this little metal tab right here, and this little metal tab right here. Well, for this to work on batteries, that connection right there is critical. Without it, it will not work. And there's also a little metal tab. I hopefully you can see right up here at top. That goes into that one but so you got these two little metal tabs so it's all dependent on this plastic snapping together well that this was the typical one I actually had to uh, bend this out a little bit and I had to definitely hit these with a uh, with a little bit of sandpaper or wire brush to uh, get any oxidation off of them but if you have one of these scanners and it's not working more than likely it has to do with the battery compartment I knew for sure once I hooked it up to uh, the wall charger or the wall prior to spy it worked fine so I knew it was a battery compartment thing and I've had a couple of these and it's just notorious for that but you get those real clean and then you when you put put this on you want to line the bottom first and it's got like a little notch that sits in and then push it that way and if you get it right that uh it comes right on which uh this is a I mean this has got a let's see here weather channel is always hard to get in this metal building and I'll show you this thing does pretty good temperature of 54 in Bartlesville it was sunny with a temperature of 55 so obviously you see it, it's got pretty good ears. I mean, I got a lot of weather radios that won't pick up in here. So it's a good little scanner. Like I said, if you if you don't need encrypted, I mean, or if your local police department's not encrypted, you know, this has even got trucking on it. So it'll scan everything. It just won't, it won't decipher digital. Right, and it won't pick up digital either. You'd have to have a digital scanner, which even then it doesn't matter. You get a digital scanner, you still have to, if it's encrypted, it's not going to do you any good. But um, anyway, I, I would like to go over just real quick. Um, if you know somebody got one of these and try to figure out how to program it, uh, it's kind of confusing. But I'll kind of see if I can make it real easy for you. Um, basically, if you want to go direct entry, what you want to do is you want to go to manual, and it'll show you what channel you're on. We'll go to a channel that doesn't have anything like here. Like I go to manual channel six, and then I can put in the the, the uh, frequency. So I'll put in like one six two dot five five zero enter boom there you go if you want to program that then you can hit program and you pick which channel you want to program it in say you want to put it over here on the second bank will go uh channel 21 i think it'll be the second bank anyway you go to your second bank and um or i should have said it you go to whatever channel you want to program it in so as you hit program it'll go and you can go hit program program one and it'll go to channel one but like say you want to program it in channel 10 you hit program 10 hit program again it's on 10 as you can see 10 there you probably can't see but 10 and then you just put the frequency in again one you know say six two dot five five zero hit enter and now from now on this is in channel 10 and that's how you get all your channels and uh you can also this is kind of a school and it's got it's got your different bands here it's got like uh 
It's got ham, police, air trunk, and uh, basically you can skip to each one of those and it just scans that band. And if it stops on something, you can write that frequency down. I could just pick up something there. And then you can go back and uh, pick out which channel you want to put it on. So anyway, that, that's, you know, there's a whole lot more stuff this does, but just to get down and down and dirty, if you just want to use it, you know, um, and especially if you have some frequencies, you know, it's just hit that program. It'll show you program one, two, three, whatever channel. Type the frequency in, hit enter, and it's in that channel. And then hit program two, you know, but you got to make sure you hit program and pick which channel you want that program to be in. And then pop the frequency and put it in there. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But, yeah, these are a little bit confusing. Um, and, and it's got like bank A, B. And I would suggest you download a manual. But if you just want to play with one, I kind of gave you just the basics of how you can... Uh, you can scan in one of them. A lot more stuff you can do here as far as trucking, etc. And, you know, you can go out and research and get a manual on it. But, uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give you the down and dirty. And um, it's a good little scanner as long as you're not looking for, uh, you know, your main police department that's a trunk encrypted digital system. You're not going to be able to pick that up. There's no scanner that's going to do that. They don't make them. Um, I'd probably be against the law if you had one. Have a great day out there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And hit that little bell so you know when the next cool little video is coming out.